So, without further ado, I'd like to introduce Sophia to the stage. I was diagnosed with ADHD um, and I was given medication to take and um, I think my feelings towards the medication were quite hostile. I felt a bit angry that people thought I needed this medication to have a normal functionality. Um, so I wrote something about it to my medication. Um, so this poem is called um, Dare Concerta, that's the medication I was taking. Um, yeah, Tokyo. You aren't the monster I thought you were. There are no monsters here. And when you creep inside of me, exploding in waves of electricity, it's like something once missing is finally coming home. These aren't monsters. How could monsters possibly make such pretty people? Pretty people. Pretty normal people. Your pale grey, death-like hue looks like everything that is wonderful about being alive like Diet Cokes or hurling raw eggs at unopened houses. Not to mention, all I've eaten for the past three days is the tips of my fingernails, since after I let you swim down my throat, you seem to inflate like a balloon in my stomach. You aren't the monster I thought you were. I'll probably learn to make jokes about how you're slicing away at me like a strawberry into thousands of tiny pieces. Because eventually, after infinite mornings of lifting you morsels from the perfectly folded napkin my mum lays you out on, delicate crackling fingers to hesitant tongue will just become the routine of being a pretty normal person. And when the jokes get too cumbersome and taste too much like nourishment, like letting go, like happiness, I'll probably learn to put an end to being normal, forget what it means. By which point I'll know every spot in every building where no one asked where my friends were and why I look so tired. You monsters, not monsters, will never share your secrets. You'll learn that my needle-thin bones, when crushed into a fine powder and encapsulated, will become you. And when I place you at the tip of my tongue and slug you down my throat, you'll taste like lemonade, only for the small cost of the rest of my life spent worshipping you, feeling like hollowness, searching up number after number after number. You not monsters will feed me away from razor blades and stop me from smelling what I just cleaned up on the bathroom floor. And it's worth it, even if you leave my once shiny hair in a clump on my pillowcase just for me. When my brain gets too weak, it starts to crumble. Or where sickness breaks living tissue, sunflowers grow. An entire garden will force itself from my empty stomach, billowing out my mouth and I'll choke. But you'll be happy, because at least you'll have been taken. You'll decompose until you can't be differentiated from all the other skeletons that also lived under your closet. Don't you wish you could shrink even more? Don't you wish you could have that control? Don't you wish you could make us cry? Because I don't get why you do this. You don't get why you do this. You feel like love, but you just so set my throat on fire as I let you in. Is that how you love us? Is that how you love us, the pretty people? Pretty normal people. Pretty normal people. Pretty dying people. Pretty dead people. Well, my parasite can be restrained or destroyed. But you're a monster, and you wouldn't understand that it's a beautiful thing to be made of sunflowers. Woo!